Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a beer review. Uh, people have been asking for me to do these. Uh, again, there's maybe like three, four or five people, but uh, had a lot of trouble getting it together and figuring out what kind of beer I was going to review. And then uh, someone sent me an email, uh, the maker of Dulce Sugar. It's a, uh, a naturally sweet, honestly made sugar. But it's basically a natural cane sugar, a uh, panella, I believe, as they call it. But anyway, the point of it is, and the reason I did it is because uh, I have an old nemesis that's called uh, barley wine ales. Barley wine ales are real hard for me to drink. I like all beers. I like the shit. I mean, you know, I, PBR is a normal thing. I like uh, I like IPAs. A lot of people hate IPAs now. My favorites generally are saisons or. Uh, farmhouse ales, some Belgians. Basically, if you cork it and you let it age, um, I love them. Uh, some of the sours are a little too vinegary for me and some of the, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, my old nemesis, the barley wine ale. Tried one in college, I remember. Uh, it was like, uh, I don't know, I was 21 and barley wine ales, were the type of uh, beer I, I remember gagging. And every few years I revisit barley wines, I'm like, maybe this time will be different. But it's called a strong ale with whole cane sugar and a uh, whole cane sugar here like Dulce. But the main gist of this review is uh, I would kind of take a look at the sugar. Um, there'd be a coupon code for like a month on Amazon so I could get some barley wine and uh, kind of revisit it and see what's happening with it. So let's get started. I got a fancy beer glass here. Um, only has a few fingerprints on it. I got some uh, regular old sugar. I got some clumpy ass brown sugar that uh, we seem to not go through that much. And then I got the Dulce here. And I, you know, Dulce is, is for put in your tea, put in your coffee. I tend to drink coffee with just uh, half and half in it. And tea, I generally like regular tea um, without sweeteners in it. But uh, we got our beer here. We got our barley wine ale. We got our sugars for uh, the tasting after this. And generally these reviews are about three or four minutes and I don't like doing them live like this, but it's the only way that I could get this done in a timely manner because I don't really have any good ideas. All right, so here we go. It is a Lagunitas unrefined sugar. So unrefined sugar. Again, the point of it is the sugar here, but it's really about the beer. Unrefined sugar is our winter warming holidays barley wine. Clocking in at 10% alcohol by volume. It's chock full of malted barley, malted wheat, Munich, Crystal, Cascade, Centennial, Columbus, whatever. You can read the, you can read the page. Um, it gets its name from the addition of whole cane panela sugar. Now on Dulce's website, they say that uh, this uses the Dulce brand of the, the unrefined sugar. Dank hop. Layering, I can definitely smell the dank hop. I smell the molasses for sure. Well, I mean, it's not molasses. It's of course, you know, that. Let's take a look at it and let's uh, pour it. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. We are gonna pour it. Uh, you know, there are the two schools of thought on pouring beers. I'm trying to get uh, this in focus here because I got two cameras going to uh, mix up the shots a little bit. Um, you know, some people say you should get a lot of the foam out. Some people, you know, there's a medium amount. Maybe there's a happy medium between a, a lot of foam and a little bit of foam. But um, the most important thing is you drink your beer the way you want to drink your beer and don't let other people tell you how to pour it. It's, uh, it's amber in color. It looks like an Amberbach. Does Amberbach look like this? It's been a long time since I've had Amberbach. Um, I don't know if there's, I'm just, I just copy and pasted some product pages from Lagunitas. Uh, is this framing okay? Super classic sea hops, bring the dank, layering the molasses, flavor melting into something super unique. And refined sugar brings flavor of rock cane sugar, slightly vanilla, slightly spicy, strong ale, curious, uh, all new style beer we like to call irresponsible. Uh, uh, there's the molasses, I smell molasses, I smell molasses, and I smell molasses. I don't get the overwhelming. Um, I don't get the overwhelming smell of alcohol. It's not astringent, um, resiny. Okay, here we go. It is a strong ale. 
It does not taste like I remember like a barley wine tastes. I feel like barley wines are aged in some sort of, I don't, I don't know how barley wine's made. You can look it up and I could go look it up too, but I obviously didn't do my research. But this, it's very hoppy. It, I mean, I, it's not an IPA for sure. It's like a sweet, I don't, I don't remember this tasting like a barley wine at all. Maybe I've gotten more mature in my tastes as we've, we've come along and you know, here we can, we can see this. It's got a little bit of an off-white colored head, the foam. You know, it's not, it's not super carbonated, which is fine because I don't like super carbonated beers. It says, uh, we, we're looking for a smoky apple vanilla, um, slightly spicy, slightly savory. I don't taste the apple. There's a, there's a hint of vanilla, more like the, uh, <laughs> how vanilla would taste if you were to drink it. It is, it is sweet, it is dank. It is hoppy. If you don't like IPAs, you probably aren't gonna like this. I mean, I kind of should have known what I was getting into because Lagunitas, like half of their shit is is IPAs. And this is this is like this. This is like a, a stronger syrupy or IPA. It's not like a citrus IPA. It's not a uh, um, what is the 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 juicy IPAs, the hazy IPAs. It's more like a. Uh, molasses, sugary, sweet IPA. All right, so let's taste the panella. The point of the review is the panella, okay? I'm turning it into one of those channels that I hate with this video. The, the rambling guy sitting at his kitchen table. All right, panella, whoo, that's sweet. It does have a brown sugar smell. The brown sugar is a little uh, sweeter and brown sugary er to be technical about it. And um, notice I use my Great Eastern Cutlery here. You can't get these, you can't get this, you can't get this. But you can get this, you can get this off Amazon. It does not smell anything like this right here. This is like, you know, this right here, you know, brown sugar is, it's generally clumpy. Let's put some of this stuff in here. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see this here. The Dulce looks, you know, panella sugar looks a little more like red clay. There's a reddishness to it. And this is brown sugar. It's, you know, brown sugar is like regular sugar with molasses added back to it. So the Dulce is not sticky like the brown sugar is. It's, it's like, uh, it's inconsistent in its granularity. Big clumps, there's little clumps, there's dark clumps, there's light clumps suggesting that it is really unrefined, you know, just dried sugar. Let's taste it. Let's taste the sugar. Um, this is good, probably better for baking and putting in other stuff, but, um, you know, you have your regular sugar. Everyone knows what regular sugar tastes like. Okay. Okay. Slightly earthier. It's not as uh, bland. Like I don't. It doesn't taste like bleach regular sugar. But you know what I mean. There's like not much flavor to it. Why don't we? Uh... <laughs> I can definitely see the relationship between the two of these. I really don't know what this costs on Amazon, but it's. Let's see what it costs. They'll see two pound jar. This is a one pound, a two pound jar is about 15 bucks. Is seems to be the going rate for the different brands of Pinella. Now, if I just had to sit and eat sugar, I would prefer the Dulce because there's a little more to it. And I know people don't sit around and eat sugar, otherwise, you know, they get the diabetes. But so this has gone on long enough. I appreciate, thank you to Dulce for, uh, they didn't really sponsor this video. They gave me some free beer and they gave me some free sugar that we will use to cook with in our sugar-based, like uh, we, we make banana bread, we make zucchini bread here. So when we do that stuff, we'll use this stuff for it. It's pretty good. And the only reason I really uh, uh, agreed to do this review is because there was beer involved with it. Beer that I thought I was gonna not like, but it turned out I really enjoyed it. That's the classic YouTube like, uh, Oh, I really didn't think I would like this, but I did. But this is just like a, I, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a normal beer to me. It's not, it's strong. It'll kick your ass. Like have two of these and you're on your way. So, uh, hopefully you like this video. I've been doing a lot of different stuff lately. I've been trying to upload more than I usually do and get, uh, 
get you know do different types of stuff uh it's backfired a little bit but that's just the nature of the youtube youtuber youtube got youtube whatever i am so make sure you check the description for the coupon code for this thing right here uh it'll save you a little bit of money i don't know how much it'll save you he didn't tell me yet but he told me when i was about ready to do the video tell him and then create a coupon code and I put it in the bottom of the video and it'd be good <laughs> You can also go to their website. You can visit their website. They have an Instagram and a Facebook page because everyone has an Instagram and a Facebook page nowadays. Yes, there are Instagram pages for sugar companies. Buy a t-shirt. Um, oh yeah, this is uh, my PVK Vegas t-shirt. It's got a it's got a butt on the back of it, which is it's a pretty big butt and it's pretty nice. I mean, for for a cartoon picture, okay. Subscribe to me on Instagram. I like Instagram followers. It kind of keeps you a little more updated about the stuff I'm into at the time. Uh, mm, like, subscribe, comment. I think I, I think I remembered it all. This video is about half an hour long right now, so we'll see what what happens. How how much I cut it down. Thanks for watching.